Hi Modern Miss Huxtables! Coming to you today to give you some of my straight hair products that I've been using. So the last video that I posted focused, focused on products I was using when I wear my hair curly and this video is going to be products that I use to wear my hair straight. Um, someone had asked me about what blow dryer I use so this is just going to be things that have to do with straight hair and also to give you all kind of a um, informal mm -hmm. length check. So. Mm -hmm. I, since moving from city to city and now living in Colorado Springs, one of you all reached out to me on Instagram that lives in Colorado Springs and I asked you if you knew of a place to get my hair done and the response was no. So um, it's still kind of a struggle to provide a, find a professional stylist or someone to trim or cut my hair. So honestly, I've been cutting and trimming my hair for the past years entirely by myself um, and doing it entirely by myself just to save money, save time, and also I just haven't found a stylist. So. This is my um, length now. I mean, it always has layers cut in it. So as you can see, like this hair is, you know, shorter than the rest of it. And so I love for someone to layer it and trim it, but I don't know when that's going to happen. So this is the length, though, at this point. This is really a botched job of showing you the length. But, and it's super, super moisturized right now my hair literally feels like i just got a relaxer i've finally gotten down products to use to moisturize it without it has a good amount of movement i probably prefer more but it's not super weighed down but it's really moisturized which i have to do here like i said again i live it's a very dry climate so but it literally is so straight that it feels relaxed it's kind of Okay, but anyway, here are the products. So to wash my hair, I used um, the same thing that I showed you guys in the curly hair video. So this is Suave's, um, you can get this at Target, CVS, drugstores. It's the Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo Moisturizing Conditioner. I really, really, really swear by this stuff. I love it. It's really reasonably priced and very moisturizing. And I said this trick in the curly hair video too. What I do is I use the shampoo, the moisturizing shampoo. This does not dry your hair out. It provides enough slippage that it doesn't get matted or dry. And also um, it's, it's cleansing enough though that it removes product buildup, especially when I'm going for my hair being worn curly to straight because there's a lot of gels, oils, moisturizers, leave-in conditioners that I need to remove from my hair before I'm going to press it out. And then I mentioned this trick in my other video, what I've been doing is using the conditioner, put this in my hand in the shower, and then I put um, a pump worth of the Pure Doors 100% Pure Organic Jamaican Black Castor Oil in my hand, and I make a deep conditioner out of it. Um, this smells, as most Jamaican Black Castor Oils do, very smoky. It has a really strong, potent scent that doesn't smell the most clean. And so um, I really enjoy using it with my conditioner in the shower because it just makes it an immediate, really strong, very deep conditioner. And then this, the smell isn't as pungent or long lasting. And it, it results in my hair being super shiny and moisturized post cleansing. So that's been a lifesaver. I really, really like this uh, black castor oil. Something that I forgot to show or mention also in the curly hair video is this product, and this is Purity Naturals Biotin Hair Serum Advanced Formula. When I wear my hair curly, and especially during this period where I'm not going outside, I will put my hair into six braids, either curly or straight, um, and I will apply this in the evenings before I go to bed. It has, I know for a fact, peppermint oil in it. It may have tea tree because it's very um, tingling and 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 kind of um, stimulating feeling when you put it on, you get that nice tingle of like the old school Paul Mitchell tea tree shampoo line where you just felt that tingly sensation. So it's, it really feels good and refreshing in that way. And also I think it really has been helping to strengthen my scalp and to just have something to put directly on my hair. For those old school modern Miss Huxables that have been following for a while, you know that I, for many years, like swore by and took daily um, hair vitamins and I don't take any hair vitamins anymore. I try to be overall healthy, um, to, you know, maintain a healthy left lifestyle and healthy diet, but I don't take any form of supplements anymore. So I've been really harping on using things like this in my deep conditioner, the black castor oil, and then things like this applied directly topically to my scalp 
to promote growth rather than um, hair vitamins or supplements. And that's just no particular reason, just what I've been doing. So then I will show you all um, what I use to actually straighten. So my blow dryer, when someone asked me this, I was like, they're probably expecting me to say something really high tech, super expensive, super professional. Y'all, I use this Conair Infinity Eye Pro. Okay, this is from a beauty supply store in the Midwest somewhere. I don't know where. Um, it came in the box with a variety of different attachments. This is just the one of the comb attachments that it came with. And as you can see, my hair has already busted that top tooth and this bottom tooth. So this is not even... <laughs> it's basic. This is not ceramic. This is not... It has a cool button, a low, off, and high setting. So that's how, I don't know. If y'all know of a black owned blow drying, comp, like blow dryer company, or if you all like want to promote, I don't know, a female owned business or something that it's, I probably should invest in getting a new blow dryer, obviously, and would like to support someone. Yeah. So <laughs> this is the blow dryer I use. And I'm embarrassed I use it on the high setting. I section my hair into four parts and blow dry it on the high setting. I wish I had something more revolutionary to say. So that's that. Um, for each section when I was blow drying, I applied, I really, really enjoy Trader Joe's 100% organic argan oil. Um, and it comes in these droppers like this on the shelf in Trader Joe's. It's with like the shampoos, conditioners, their lotions and everything. I really, really like these. I love, live for a dropper. Love a dropper. Um, this is great. Again, I live in a, a dry climate, so I'll, I'll apply this to my cuticles at night, to my cuticles on my toes. Um, you can add a droplet of it to your lotion when you're applying that in the morning. Um, it's really nice, lightweight oil. And um, it's pretty inexpensive. I can't remember how much it costs, but it comes with really nice droppers. So I have probably like four of these in my house all over the place. Um, so I apply this to each section and then blow dry with it. And typically it helps to keep the hair moisturized without it getting too heavy or um, weighed down. And it's a cheaper alternative to, um, what is it? What is our, what is the main argan, Moroccan oil or the main, you know, more expensive argan oil? So it has really no scent and I don't think it really has any, it's yeah, truly just organic oil. No fragrance, nothing. So did that, then uh, blow dry. Then I pressed my hair. So to press my hair, I use, um, this is Ion Styling Styling Solution Silk Drops. So I use a bit of this on each section and then some of the Chi Silk Infusion Oldie But Goodie um, Heat Protectant. So those two together. I'll put um, the names of all these in the description box. Please subscribe if you haven't already and check out my Instagram and Twitter. I'll put those down there below as well and I'll post um, some pictures of my hair straight, you know, so you can see. Okay, then for my straightening items. For this particular straightening job, I use my Chi, I think this is like a one and a half inch, so it's a thick, bigger plates. And it just has, you know, this brand Chi, it just has the on and off setting. So turn it on, let it get heated up. This one I like because obviously I can put a lot more hair through at a time. And um, I forget what the maximum built-in heat setting is for the regular Chi, but it also discourages me from turning up, I'll show you my chi that you can adjust the heat from turning it up to 450 or some number that I really don't need. My hair, it doesn't need all that heat. So that's the one I use. But I also have this chi, um, which, oh, it's not, obviously I can't turn it on for you to show you because it's not plugged in. But as you can see, it has a little reader in there. And when you turn it on, you can adjust the heat. I believe it starts at 350 and maybe goes up to 450, maybe even higher than that. So you can actually control the heat. And this is their typical, like, regular one inch, I think. This one I liked a lot because I'm really bad at using curling irons. I've never – I remember begging, like, my grandmother to teach me how to use an actual curling iron and her doing it, especially when she had really short haircuts, like, really just meticulous, like, bumping of each – line of hair and I could never get the hang of it. It just didn't work. So I'm going to show you all my workaround for trying to get some semblance of curls, but 
with the cheese, I managed to learn how to curl at the ends, how to string the hair through to get barrel curls when I wanted my hair to be curled at the end. So this one I do recommend the size allows it to do that and that's what I would do to get curls. Um, and then for beach waves, I'm gonna post a picture on uh, Instagram to show you all how I do or how the beach waves turn out. But I absolutely love this. This is a Neuro, N-E-U-R-O, um, wand. And it also has heat settings. There's a panel here where you can adjust the heat. And I will just wrap my hair around this, hold for like 13 seconds, and then let it out. And it creates really nice beach waves. And this has been my go-to. I really like when I'm wearing my hair straight. Um, here, a lot of times, I'll wear a hat. And then I'll have the beach waves under it. And I really, really, really like that look. It's just a loose kind of sexy beach waves. And it's a great workaround if you don't know how to use a blow dryer. I mean, a um, curling iron. And also because I like for my beach waves to be straight at the ends, I literally just hold it with my hands, the excess hair at the ends. And it doesn't burn me. I pull it out. I don't have to worry about a clamp curling iron. Many of you out there are probably way more skilled than me and know how to use a curling iron properly. Um, and then my other tools just for everyday use, love a wide tooth comb. This is the one I use in the shower to apply conditioner. Um, I, of course, have the good old rat tail for parting. Um, this brush is a little harsh, but when I wrap my hair at night to smooth edges and to also control the edges, I use this. Um, and then I love and swear by paddle brushes, so I also have multiples of these. These are what I use to wrap my hair at night. Pretty sure I have an old wrapping hair video, so that's what I do every night. Um, I have a variety of silk scarves that I get at secondhand shops. This one's from H&M. Um, so satin scarves. I sleep on a satin pillowcase every night. And then the only other thing is I've been using the Hicks um, edges, and it's just a clear, pretty good edge control and that's what I use to tame or control my edges so that smooths those down pretty well and pretty easily when I wrap at night and then also what I showed in the other video is the henna coca noir so I did that fairly recently I have quite a few grays as you can kind of see here so that typically turns those um, a reddish brown copper color but it also makes my hair just look much more healthier um, so I, I still swear by and love Lush's Henna. And that's pretty much it. That's all I can think about to share. So those are updates for straight hair. I love y'all. I hope you are well. Thank you so much for the comments. Thank you for your love and support. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.